The House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Let us pray. Spirit of life in this week when we have again been called to remember and rededicate ourselves to caring for the earth. Keep us mindful and humbled with an awareness of our own limited perspectives and understandings. We seek and need the wisdom that gave birth to the universe with all its wonders and beauty. We pray this day for the legislators gathered here and all who support and assist them. We pray for the wisdom of trees whose roots run deep, carrying an ancient memory of our mutual dependence on one another, both giving and receiving to make life possible. We pray for the wisdom of the birds, from eagles to hummingbirds, rising above the limitations of their nesting places, seeing the wholeness in life on which we all rely. We pray for the wisdom of gophers and all four-legged creatures who instinctively know the gifts of intimacy and vulnerability that comes with belonging, truly belonging to a particular place. We pray for the wisdom of the waters, our rivers, our streams, our lakes, above ground and below, nurturing life with a mystery we are unable to control. We pray for the wisdom of the sun and the rain who offer their gifts to the just and unjust, the poor and the wealthy, the powerful and the weak, for this is how life is sustained. We pray for wisdom this day that goes beyond political party, personal loyalties, identities of all types, urban or rural, town or country, north or south, east or west, setting aside grievances of the past or present with an openness to the wisdom that surrounds us every day. We pray these things in the wisdom of the one who gives us life. Amen. The chaplain for today is Reverend Tim Johnson from Cherokee Park United Church, St. Paul, Minnesota. Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. <coughs> A quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House, 89th session, 45th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Thursday, April 23rd, 2015. If there's no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with and the journal will be approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the chief clerk. In comparison reports. There is a copy of this order of business on each member's desk. If there is no objection, the motions will prevail. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail and the substitutions will be made. Reports of standing committees and divisions. A copy of this order of business has been placed on each member's desk. If there is no objection, the reports will be adopted Hearing no objections, the reports are adopted. Second reading of House Files. Second reading House File number 1638. Second reading. Second reading of Senate Files. Second reading Senate File number 2101. Second reading. Introduction of bills. The following House files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House files and give them their first reading. Introduction of first reading of House File 2269. First reading, House File 2269. Messages from the Senate. Messages from the Senate, Mr. Speaker, I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following Senate files herewith transmitted. Senate file 406, Senate file 878, Senate file 1244, signed Joanne M. Zoff, Secretary of the Senate. First reading of the Senate files. First reading Senate file number 406, an act relating to criminal justice. The bill is being referred to the Committee on Public Safety, Crime Prevention, Policy and Finance. First reading, Senate File Number 878, an act relating to criminal justice. Cornish moved that Senate File 878 and House File Number 849, now on the General Register, we refer to the Chief Clerk for comparison. There being no objection, so ordered. There being no objection, so ordered. First reading, Senate File Number 1244, an act relating to public safety. The bill is being referred to the Committee on Public Safety, Crime Prevention, Policy, and Finance. The member from Hennepin, Representative Pepin. Mr. Speaker and members, I move a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 2 p.m. During that time, Republican members will caucus immediately in room five of the state office building. There will be no rules committee meeting today. Representative Pepin moves for a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 2 p.m. All those in favor of that motion signify by saying aye. Those opposed, no. The motion prevails and the House stands in recess to the call of the chair until approximately 2 p.m.